Um, hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to casually ask you how you are doing today while I introduce my awesome Canon G12. I finally got a new camera. Yes, and I am extremely happy with it. I should have just got this thing sooner. I mean, I could have done so much with it by now. This thing is amazing. Best thing I ever got. Probably ever. <laughs> really, like of anything I've gotten. Well, then again, maybe it's because I'm just a big camera enthusiast right now. But just, oh my goodness, look at the quality of this. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, and I should also mention that this thing is designed incredibly well. It has, you know, the microphones, it's got stereo microphones and they're on top of the camera, not on the front. So they're less affected by wind and stuff like that. I'm out here on a windy day. We were supposed to get some thunderstorms. No, I'm not going to make another vlog about thunderstorms anytime soon. But I'm just saying. <laughs> but if, if the microphones weren't on the top like that in this windy day, I would probably have quite a lot of trouble with audio here. <laughs> And the features and everything of this is just top notch. In fact, you know, I'm, I'm a really big critic of things, but I can't find a single thing wrong with, <laughs> with this camera. I'm not kidding you. Everything is just to my liking. I really shopped around and picked one that fits my needs and I think I delivered on that. I mean, oh my goodness, this is awesome. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, flip screen, just like how I like it. Great for taking video of myself, just like this. Hmm, let's just mess around a little bit. When the heck did it become fall? I thought I was taking this video in the summertime. This is unbelievable. How did this happen? It's next to impossible. It's a, actually a color swap filter sort of dealio. I swapped green with a pinkish red. So anything that's green looks red, except for me. <laughs> I can of course use that to swap out any colors that I want to whatsoever. So this is really, really handy for artistic stuff. Ah, nature. It's so green, so vibrant, so luscious. Uh, something seems a little bit fishy about this. Oh, it's the color accent feature. I made it so that only greens show up on the camera while all, all the other colors end up desaturated. This is a pretty neat touch, I have to say, because it, you can really make things pop that you want to make pop in like photography and stuff like that. Holy cow, I'm black and white. <laughs> it's just amazing. It's funny, the first thing that I did with this was actually do some photography because that's another hobby of mine on my DeviantArt page. So what I did was I went out after the camera was charged at about like 8.30 at night. It got here at about like 5 o'clock and then I ate dinner, charged the camera's battery up. And then I decided to go out and take some pictures, you know, right at, at the sunset and stuff like that. So I thought, hey, that'll be pretty dang cool. So I ended up taking this picture and I was absolutely stunned at the results of it because I was able to set a manual white balance. Amazingness! That's all I can say about this. Amazingness. I'm not here to like brag or anything like that. It's just that this thing is just so dang cool and I am so excited to have it. <laughs> well, as you notice, it's been like two weeks since my last vlog, but I have a good reason this time. First off, was that the other camera that I was using actually broke somehow. Well, I shouldn't say it broke. It's just starting to like glitch up randomly. Like uh, when I was recording some trauma center parts, the audio decided to screw up on itself royally. I mean, it, it was just practically inaudible. It sounded like some sort of like walkie talkie or something like that. And it was just so hard to hear. And it was like, oh, I can't use this. This is, and, I'm, and I don't do post commentary. I never ever do post commentary because it, it just doesn't have that same feel to it. You know, the same feel of reacting to something like that. It's just more fun to do it that way as well. Um, the next thing is that after the whole backup situation got resolved on my accounts, I made a Facebook page, by the way, if you haven't heard about that, go link description down there. Yeah, go check that out if you have a Facebook, like it please. 
As I said on my other channel, if you haven't heard, I'd really like to push people to go there just in case something ever happens here, you know, so I can then redirect people to go somewhere else if something ever happens to my accounts. Just saying, if you really like my videos, really care about me, stuff like that, go to my Facebook, like the page, or make a Facebook and like the page if you don't have one. Yeah, shameless plug, sort of, but this is in the name of a backup. A backup location, not in the name of whoring. <laughs> If you didn't notice, uh, I was looking over to my left over there. That was because I heard my aunt calling me, or at least that's what I thought. So, yeah. So, I, it's a kind of like 15-minute cut between cuts and, yeah. Anyway, back back to my backup channel situation thing here. Is that after, uh, I mean, I should say before I made the Facebook page, I took off all the links that I had that uh, redirected people to accounts that possibly weren't safe backup location so to speak so then I took them off the uh, descriptions and stuff like that and then after I got I made the Facebook page and I redirected people towards it then what I did was I put all those links back into there as well you know like my blog Ustream stuff like that so needless to say I am quite happy to have gotten that resolved okay that's enough with the filters <laughs> I forgot to mention with the sound thing that happened, you know, the sound auto audio problems that I had with uh, the other camera. Uh, I forgot to mention in the video that I talked about it on my other channel, which I took down now because the news was already over by then, but people still asked about it because I haven't made trauma center parts in a while. It, it's a long story, I'm not gonna go into it too much. But anyway, that actually happened before. Um, it, it, it never happened be before on recording. But it did happen when I was doing some just for fun test recordings. Like one day I just turned on the camera really fast and pressed the recording button to see uh, what the focus would be locked on if I did it that fast. And what happened was that audio problem happened for the first time. But I thought it was because, you know, I just turned on the camera really quickly and I didn't allow it to start up or something like that. But since it happened again, you know, after I actually let it start up, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of worrisome that that could possibly happen in another future walkthrough. So that's when I decided, yeah, it's, it's time to get a new camera. <laughs> Not only is it going to be fun to use this, but it's going to help me so much compared to the other ones that I've been using for the past, like, what, one and a half years or so? Plus, I really, really missed using a Canon camera. <laughs> oh, that's really all that I have to say here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and uh, one more filter. Hulk smash!